We've seen it before, but rarely this dense or this far into the season. The devastating brown tide is back in our waters, killing shellfish on Long Island right as the tourist season kicks off. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has details new at 6 from the Great South Bay. Apathy is unacceptable. A dead bay is not okay. As a fisherman, biologist, and former baykeeper, Kevin McAllister's eyes reflect dramatic changes he's seen over 30 years since brown tide first emerged on Long Island's East End, decimating the shellfish population, and now it's unwelcome comeback. Ultimately, we have to start rallying around these waters. You know, this, this lifeblood of Long Island, what defines us is our waters. McAllister was among those tracking the die-off last week of thousands of bunker fish in Peconic Bay and the turtle deaths last month in estuaries connecting the North and South Forks. Now, students at Stony Brook are studying the death of eelgrass and shellfish suffocating in the brown tides of the Great South Bay. It looks as almost, you know, as if you're churning up mud, but it is the color of the water. It just turns beet red, brown, and it's, uh, it's disheartening to see. This is like the brown tide that we have now. Led by Professor Christopher Gobler, researchers are measuring algae blooms in shallow, poorly flushed, and nitrogen-rich areas. This water gets so dark, so dense, you put your hand in it, by the time you get to your elbow, you can't see your fingers. Shellfish act as water filters and are essential to the health of the bay, now filled with brown tide. This is not harmful to humans. However, we do know that this is toxic to shellfish. Studies show fertilizers, wastewater, and septic systems are polluting sources. We need to keep the bay clean. Water temperature at around 75 degrees typically kills brown tide. But since it's been a cooler June, brown tide could be with us well into the summer. From Shinnecock Bay, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.